Hi there, it's Karen here. Welcome back. And yes, today I'm back in my downstairs craft room. It's super hot upstairs. But the good news is it's my birthday today. So it's very unusual to have lovely weather on my birthday. So I'm not complaining, but it was a bit too hot to film. And I really did want to do try and fit in a video today. Um, because we're going away next week, as I've mentioned before, and I just want to get one more in the bag, in the can, before we go. So, as it's what I love to do, um, I'm I'm in I'm in here filming one more in the ballet journal. So here we are. Um, this is the one we did last time. I have just added another piece of ephemera that I made a while ago as part of Rock's Weekly Challenge because I thought the colours went quite well. Um, it's one of these, it's, it's a book page and it opens up for writing space and it's just nice, nice book page here um, and on the back, it's one we did with uh, with Rachel so I thought I'd put that in because the colours, so this colour of, there's the Florentine paper here that, which goes really well with all these colours so I thought well there was room to tuck this behind here but we're going to be working on the other side today so I'm going to take everything out <laughs> Having just shown you everything in there, I'm going to take out all the tags so that we're working on a flat surface or flattish. I'm not going to worry about the one here. In fact, I might even open this up and do this. Then we've got a flat surface to work on, or as flat as I can make it anyway. So I'm just going to put these all to one side somewhere. Trouble is, in this, there isn't a lot of one to one side in this room because I've got a very small table. Just going to put it over here. Okay, so I'm sorry about if it's a bit echoey again, it's just one of those things. I tried to set up in my room and it was just a bit airless and I just couldn't cope. <laughs> so now I have this option and Richard was very, very willing, being as it's my birthday, <laughs> to, to bring everything down here for me so that I could actually do a video. So on this side, um, I thought I'd like to the first time, embrace the yellow in the Tracy Fox kit because we do have this page and I haven't used any yellow yet really and I just think it's so pretty and it just so happens I've got this bit of yellow lace that arrived wrapped around something that I ordered from Etsy um, I think probably from Tina at Shabby Dabby Doodah because I have had an order from her recently I think that was wrapped around it so that might feature, not sure just pop that there um, and then I always like the combination of um, yellow and blue. So I've been umming and ahhing which side to use because that would look quite sweet as well. But I really think I'd like to use this page and put that behind there. That's what I think I want to do. In fact, I'm going to have it go right over the holes and then I'll repunch them. And then I think if I tear it where this line is here, that will be about right. I might might even be the right height, so it's going to take less time to actually back this than perhaps doing a collage. Because we don't really want this to be a super long video, though no me, it still will be. But we'll try, try to make some decisions. And sadly, because I thought this might because I thought I'd be using this in a journal. It's been, it's got this beautiful paper on the back, which is gorgeous. I keep forgetting to use that, don't I? Oh well. So on the back of here as well. But I don't know whether I use, whether I'm going to use that half on this, on this page, or maybe I use it somewhere else. But I think I would like to start off just popping that on there like that. It's really pretty. And then we'll see about some decoration, some lace, the usual things. And I will, I will, I will have to make a journal card to pop behind because it, it opens. So you've got writing space here, but then there's a pocket here. But I already have a tag for that pocket. And I'll show you that when we get to, when I'll show it to you now. There you go. That's one I made a little while ago, I think. Not being even part of Rookie's Weekly Challenge. I have no idea. I cannot remember. But it's just a book page pocket. A uh, tag with some blue lace and a blue, just because I'm a fairy actually, a fa fairy ballerina. 
but I think she'll go quite nicely in there like that so I think that is done that piece so this might be a bit speedier than usual so I am going to just ink around this a little bit and glue it down right let's see so we have this piece I think it also needs a little inking up to be perfectly honest just going to quickly do that Okay, just a little bit of ink. I don't usually do it when I'm actually doing the Rocky Swiggly Challenge because she doesn't ink, so I tend not to. But when I'm using the piece, I have that option if I feel like doing that. So I'm going to, I'm just trying to decide if I need anything else on here. Um, I do think I need a, quite a nice dollop of lace on here. I'm talking of dollop of lace. <laughs> I have been, so I had a, I've had a lovely day so far. Obviously it's this sort of late afternoon and we are going um, going out for dinner tonight, me and Richard. Um, so this morning we went to a nearby town to do a little bit of a sh little bit of shopping. I just wanted a bit of a mooch round, and I went into a couple of charity shops, and I found some lacy tops, a couple of lacy tops, which I was very pleased with. One of them I think I want to put in the wash, but this one smelt really quite fresh. So I thought I would possibly use it. Isn't it pretty? It's, you very very rarely find tops that are just all lace. Often there's just little bits of lace and sometimes it's a quite thick, bit like bit like crochet lace but really thick and I don't I don't like those. I like these ones that have got lots of very fine lace on like this and they are a pretty rare find these days. They're hard to find anything like this so I was really pleased and I thought it was a bit unusual the lace on there. So I have cut off the sleeve because <laughs> it's quite handy. It had a nice long sleeve. Well, it's like a three-quarter, I suppose. But there's a nice bit of lace on there. And I thought maybe I could use a bit of that on here. I'm not sure what what bit I'm going to use or where I'm going to use it. I just rather liked it. And I'm just wondering if I can use a bit of that. It's got a bit of fringing on it. I'm not, I don't find it always very easy to use fringing. Could maybe use that at the bottom, I suppose. And another bit somewhere else. Let's just try cutting a bit of that off. I think the last time I found a, a lacy top that was just really just lace and nothing nothing else was probably one of the first things I ever bought and I'm down to my last little bit of that and I've used it so much. So it's quite nice to find another piece and find it on my birthday. It just... <laughs> Yeah, I'm sorry I keep going on about it being my birthday. I like having a birthday. I enjoy myself. Um, Rich is very good. He look, really looks after me. He brought me uh, tea and croissant in bed this morning. I mean, he, usually, he does bring me tea in bed most mornings anyway. But I got a croissant as well from our bakery down the road. He went out specially, first thing in the morning. I wasn't even up. And uh, I bought me a croissant. Or bought us a croissant. <laughs> That's usually our Saturday morning treat when he's at Park Run. So it was a bit of an extra special treat because they're very good and it was still warm because it was just out of the oven. Oh, it was yummy. Well, I'm wondering if that would work on there like that. Maybe bring it up a bit more. Kind of like that. Yeah, maybe. Let's trim it down. And then I would like something along here, and maybe also, oh, maybe a bit of the yellow. So I'm beginning to use the yellow, I mean, apart from it being kind of a yellowish tone. I don't want to lose too much of the idea of yellow. Maybe I can just put that 
bit of that down the side, but I also want some lace. See what else I've got. Oh, I also have, might be quite nice to use. I have this lovely fabric, which has got the yellow and the blue in it. I wonder I could use a bit of that. Mm. Is that long enough? Might be. And I'll put something else with it. Let's see. Otherwise I'll use the a longer piece. See if I can tear it. I don't know if I can. Oh yes. It tears nicely and it frays lovely. Could do that. I have used it before and sort of ruffled it, but I thought maybe it'd be quite nice just as I've only got a shortish piece, perhaps I'd just do it like that. Bit poking out the but and it's all lovely and frayed. And brings that bit of touch of yellow back in, doesn't it? So I go like that. Yes, now which side have we got the holes? Oh, we've lost the holes now. Where are they? Probably better punch them so I don't lose sight of where they are. I guess they're on this side, aren't they? Yes, yeah, so let's just punch the holes back so I don't forget them. That would be foolish because then we might cover them up again. I was looking for my punch and I have it on my desk. I remember to bring it down. Okay. A bit, of, a, bit, a bit of paper stuck to it. One. And now I can put my whole reinforcers on it. As well, which I did remember to do after the last week's video. So, where are they? They're here somewhere. I have them ready to hand. Here they are. Well, let's do that as well, and then we know where we are. Okay, let's see what we can do with this and this. This is, I don't think it matters which one, I think it's that way around. Probably going to think of something else I need to embellish with, which will be upstairs, of course. But we'll see. I'm just thinking, ideally, I'd have something going in behind here, but because we've got it facing... This is the uh, inside, in theory. I really need to be able to put something under here. So, okay, how's that going to work? Not sure now. <laughs> Put a little bit along here. It's very bright this yellow, isn't it? I'm not normally a big yellow fan. I don't use a lot of yellow. So maybe if I tuck it under there a little. It seemed a shame not to use it as it was gifted to me. I could just pop that under there a bit like that. And 
let's see if there's anything else and I could use this as well maybe Oops. something like that maybe still going to be able to pop something under here but I think it'll be alright once it's all glued down yeah I do like this bit sticking out um, I think we might go with something like that Still feel like I need something here as well. Um, a bit more lace here. Other charity shop find and maybe I'll try and use a bit more of this one um. oops yeah over here I think put that up in that way just trim that a bit off because it's a funny shape the edge of the sleeve, the, where the seam was, I think, of the sleeve. I could maybe just put that bit behind there. Hmm. Yeah, that might look quite quite nice there. I quite like that. Okay. <laughs> well, it's getting very lacy this, but that's okay. I don't. Use, I haven't used a lot of lace on the other side, so let's let's see. I really like this piece here. Don't really need all that, that bit there. So how about we put that down to start with and build out from there. that going on there. And I've just got to decide about my yellow. A bit of yellow. I want to bring that across a little bit more. Okay, do I want any yellow? Where's it gone? Do I want this little bit? there then I don't want it to cover up that lace hmm. just a pop a pop of yellow should we do a pop of yellow where do I want my pop well, before I do that, I'm going to glue these bits down because I know I want those there. Er, okay, got a got the fabric glue here. Let's see if we can get this one to come out. I need to top that up after this video, I think. Just cut off the edge of that, um, the, what do you call it, the edge of the lace. I know it's got a name, usually I know it, but it can't, won't come to me today. Um, yeah, I cut that off, the header, 
They caught the header. Anyway, because I thought it was adding un unnecessary bulk on that edge, and actually, I think that it's uh, it's better gone. And I had a thought while I was gluing those down, and I don't know if this thought will work, that I'd like to bring a little bit more actual of the yellow, because with the yellow is now almost virtually disappeared, all the yellow flowers. But I do have this piece, and I wonder whether to, I'd like to perhaps put that back in up here. Let's try it, see if I can, probably should have done that before I glued everything down, but I didn't think of it until I was gluing everything down. There's also this butterfly, which I might try and incorporate. I might cut, I might cut back because I don't want to tear the, the ballerina in case I want to use her on something. yellow flower. See if we can get that back on the page. Do it the other way up, perhaps. Turn this down. We'll just get the here. Uh, Tag out the way for a moment. If I can tuck that, I don't know how well I've glued that down. If I can just tuck it under a little. flowers back in doesn't it? I'm just not sure which way around it looks best. Maybe I'll just make it a little smaller, just tear it off a little bit. So, sink it up. I think I'd like to get that one there. And just tuck it under there a bit. Yeah, I think so. I'd like to do that. glue the bit of lace back down because I don't want it catching when I'm trying to get things in and out behind that pocket. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I think that just... Oh, do I need a bit of paper, a bit of glue under this corner? Yes, I do. There's always a corner you miss, isn't there? 
Always, always. I'm sure there's some kind of crafter's law about that. This yellow doesn't really go, does it? I'll put a tiny bit in, maybe on the bottom of the tag. I'm not going to use it. <laughs> I don't think so. Just doesn't quite do it for me. Right, okay, I'm going to glue this down now. So I'm just going to glue this side and this side. And I'm going to use this one because it's going to be glued to fabric and lace, so I need to glue it with this, this glue, which is not, you know, it is flowing a little bit now. Didn't want to just now. didn't bring down my big paper clip so I'm just going to have to hold it for a moment. Okay, this is all, all nice firmly stuck on now and um, I think I would like to make the journal card next. I've been Meaning to use this, I wanted to use this for a while. This is a masterboard I made a long time ago. Um, I think I, I did some a whole bunch of masterboards when I was recovering from my surgery two years ago, more than two, two and a half years ago. And I thought the colours on parts of this would go really well in this journal, so I've had it on standby. And I thought this is probably the, a good page to use it on. This, this is the corner I'm looking at. I think it's got the right feel about it. Um, so I need a journal card of uh, about four by six to go behind there. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to bring in my trimmer and we'll go upside down. See if I can get this in. That's it. And we'll do four four inches across. Get the ink out of the way. Right. Four inches. Yep. Ooh. That seems to work because I have backed this piece, so I haven't got to do any of that. And then we'll do six. Six going down. Six. Oh, that seems to have worked quite well. So that should, I hope, be about the right size. So I've got a couple from, from the Tracy Fox kit and of course she would be lovely on there I think. She'd take up quite a lot of the space. I think I'm just going to cut it down just to see how she'll fit. Um, no. Okay, I'll use these.
nice one there. Yeah, like her. I have this one, but she's not really big enough. I also thought I could use these. This is something I put, tore out of a magazine. Um, I do want to use it somewhere, but I don't think it's quite what I want on here. So I just want to perhaps put something behind her. Uh, I've got a few pieces of ephemera. These are from a Tracy Fox kit, not Tracy Fox, Shepard Ever Doodah kit. Um, just some bits of ephemera that I thought might might work. And also I found, I had a, I've had another route upstairs, <laughs> turned the camera off for a few minutes, had a quick look upstairs, found some more yellow lace and I wondered about, so I'm just going to pin that back in place, wondered about that on the edge of the journal card, see how that would look. I'll probably cut it down, it's a bit wide. But I did think it's more of a delicate yellow than the one I was trying to use. But we could put that on the edge of the journal card a bit. And have that just sticking out a little bit. I've got a few, few kind of tickets and bits and pieces that I thought I might use just to add a bit of interest behind the focal point. Let's just try. It may be easier if I just cut a cut a piece off. Got plenty of it after all. And I'll use it probably a bit sometime, but I feel like I don't use a lot of yellow, so while this has got a yellow feel to it, this this particular page, I want to try and use some bits of yellow. Where'd it go? <laughs> I cut it and then oh it's still attached. Well, sort of attached. So maybe I'll do something like that. Um, how would that look behind there? You see, it's a very similar soft yellow. So I think I might use that, but I might just cut it down a bit. I just want a little bit peeking out from the side of the, from behind the pocket. Going, really going for the um, blue and yellow combo, I think. So I don't really need the whole thing while I'm working on this. So I'm going to go for that. I'm going to glue that down. The old glitter glue is having trouble holding it. Maybe I need a bit more. Good. All right. Let's trim off the bit at the bottom. Okay. And maybe this bit of blue. Is that a bit too bright? I did have some other pieces um, that I could use from a different kit it's from, their, from her blue birds and blossoms I've got these journal cards and I wondered if even one of those although it's a bit thick I don't really know if I need as much as that no not really
cut it down. I've actually got, oh, I've got some of that on the other piece. Um, maybe I could Oops, I was going down. Yeah, but maybe something like that. These couple of tickets. Just wondering if that's a good, good too many, too much uh, for one colour now. Let's see if I can find something else. Bring in the blue again. Oops, sticking to my thumb. Yeah, I think something like that would look okay. If we can bring in this butterfly. Okay, <laughs> I'm going to try and glue these down in some some order. We'll see how that turns out. And of course I'll ink around them as well.
it across the top here. I've got a few. Don't think. She looks more like she's hmm, a elegant. What's this? And this one can't work, that's too big. down a touch more. bit more where the lace is. I think it just soaks into the lace. It's not that I didn't put any on there. It's like you need a second coat to make it properly stick. Right, so I think that journal card is done. I really like it. It's a bit different for me. I don't very often do a little bit of layering up, but I do like the look when it's when I do remember to do it. Let's just move on. Battery, as you might guess, I had to change my battery. Usually happens about this time. So let's pop that in. And hopefully, with that bit of yellow lace will just show nicely. I could tuck it right in there. Yeah, that looks all right. In fact, I could put it up a little bit and have beautiful showing, which is quite nice. And I was thinking I might like to do a little something more in the way of embellishment. I'm just wondering if it's going to be too much now with all the extra bits on the journal card. What I had pulled out, which I may still use, we'll have a look and see if it looks too much. So I've got this piece of, there's a bit of um, offer, it's another top I might have bought some time ago in um charity shop, but it's got all these flowers. It's like kind of lacy top but I, I had all these flowers all over it and I thought that might look quite nice on that corner with a little something on top so I've got in a selection of bows ribbon bows and I think that's too bright that's the yellow I can't work with I think a softer yellow yeah I don't mind that that works quite well but I also have a little light blue which I think might look better brings in the blues brings it together with or without the background, I don't know. I think it looks a bit lost on its own there, or does it? Yeah, maybe at the bottom of the fabric. Now I don't want it to block the journal card going in and out, that's the thing. No, I think I might leave well alone, but I do think I might use a bit of, a bit of this trim. I've been using these trims in different colours throughout the journal, so it, would be quite nice to bring that in as I've got a bit of yellow. I also have blue, but I want the yellow in this corner, kind of bring it across. So I think I might put a bit of yellow trim down there and that might be enough. There comes a time when you have to know when, when to stop. And this is quite, quite well embellished, this, this page, isn't it? I'm gonna cut there, I think. 
too big, too long a piece. Two be better. No, I'm going for the three. Well, three and a bit. I think I might do that. Yeah. Oops, got to put my pin in as usual. I'm done with it. Before I added the journal card, I think that uh, little combo on the corner looked quite nice, but I think it's just a bit, bit over the top now. I think this is, this is enough. Just wanted that bit of yellow brought down to the bottom there. I'll use the, use the fabric glue. Look at that, <laughs> stuck to me. I'll just put that there. Yes, I'm liking that. Right, so I think we just need to pop our journal card in here. Try not to catch the lace. Okay. That and then we'll put our other journal cards and tags and well, there's tags really, isn't it? On back on this side, so we've got these two to go back in this pocket. Oops, it went in and then it caught on my finger, which is a bit sticky and came right out again. Look. No, I can't get it in. And I've got the hiccups. <laughs> oh, that's it. Okay, one. Two. And these two as well. This is, I think this is page number seven. So it's really quite fat, this one, isn't it? But it's sort of layered up. But that's fine. We can make them as fat as we like, really, can't we? These ones. So thank you for joining me on my special day. I've had a lovely time. And I'm going out for a lovely evening meal with my husband tonight. And then my, my daughter and her husband and a little baby boy, who's not much of a baby anymore. Very nearly one year old, they're all coming over tomorrow to celebrate with me, so that'll be lovely. Unfortunately, my other daughter's uh, got other plans this weekend, so she wasn't able to come. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this. I really did. I'm really pleased with this one, where it turned out um, my slightly um, unusual use of yellow, but it was a soft yellow, so I can, I can cope with that. I'll see you soon, I hope. But this might be the last one for a couple of weeks. I don't know. There may be. I don't know how I'm gonna. What I'm gonna do about the filming schedule over the next couple of weeks. So just bear with me, and I'll get back whenever I, as soon as I can. Bye for now. <laughs>